Yes, please. Amazing outfit. <laughs> Good day, everybody. Oh, this is like a dog pile. I can't get past here. Um, who who kind of knows anything about me? Okay. No. The reason the reason why I start off with that is because the way I look. <laughs> and I know you're a Christian, but you're judging me. Oh, <laughs> I shall not judge. Well, I wouldn't, but he looks hard. This thing is 10 a.m. and the boy looks like he could use his toilet. Uh, yeah, this is God's funny joke on me. I, yeah. You should see my kids. They look worse than I do. So, are you guys ready for this year?
Think of how much of that energy is sucked away from their wife, their children, love that they can be doing. They do that with everybody. They do that with all of us. It's a lot of energy to be spending on false idols, Sarah. How they love their false idols. As long as they're on the television. Yes. They believe anything in that square box. I oh, know. <laughs> Send out the Trust the Science campaign. <laughs> In order to be trustworthy, you must wear a lab coat and look professional. Okay, just look good. Okay. <laughs> they can get a junkie off the street, like, hey, you want to make some money? Put this lab coat on. Come here, just say Trust the Science. <laughs> They're putting, remember all those signs you saw? Trust the science! <laughs> and they taught you all the things to say. Next time when anyone questions you, you say, What are you, a doctor? <laughs> so true. <laughs> what a movie, ain't it? I wanted to end though, like now. I mean, we're all done. We're all done. Give it, we're done. Give it, we're done. End it. We get it. They stole the election. We know. Yeah, I really do. <laughs> if you haven't woke up yet, I'm sorry. We'll help you. We'll put them in little hospitals and like, if you know there's a new pandemic on I know, I know, there's more shots for that. Are you sure? Yes, yes. Is Trump in jail yet? Yeah, they are all in jail. Yeah, they all going to be good. The Nazis are taking over. Thank you. As people just watched. You know, and, and <laughs> meanwhile, every other day is something else. You're like, um, okay. Really big bridge just went down. Totally weird. Electricity just went out. Oh well. And I went into the bridge and it collapsed. So, okay. Enjoy the show. Watch the Trump trial. <laughs> I didn't know who that kid was. It was weird. Right? <laughs> I mean, this, this guy came out of the audience and it was nobody's business. But, uh, and all black with, with, with wires and circles. Just like, up here, and all the generals over here or something. You got an eye on this guy? He's got no socks. I don't trust anyone with no socks. Are you, what? You want to give me that? What's wrong with this microphone? Are you from the circus? What's going on right now? What? Is this not working? It works, right? Oh, longer cord. Thank you. I'm a genius. <laughs> Jim can only walk 10 feet and he's a pacer. Get up there and shut him!
him up immediately. <laughs> Make him do the go boy from 40 years ago. Just one little hand. Yes, now you're like, dude, I know this guy. I used to do that all the time. I have a couple of drinks, one day, one day, and that's the guy. I can't hear you, so I don't know if there's something wrong with you, or you're shouting. So I don't want to respond. I don't know. I don't want people in the back, and I just hear, oh, no, 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 no. I can't engage because then I look bad. Like, what'd you say?
Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Sounds like Mac Dillon the Eagles. Come on, man. So nauseating. How funny, dude, he dropped a deuce in front of all his vestments. Did you see that? Did you see when he came out? You got guys that were in it. <laughs> my dad, my dad was in World War II. I saw my dad have a foot one week. Woo! Yes, for him, not me. Um, I saw him have a flashback one night. That's real, that's, oh yeah. But let's, let's not celebrate that for a month. Right, right. Amen. Let's not celebrate that for a month. Let's not celebrate taking your child, your cousin, your daughter to go fight something you've never had anything to do with. Let's not celebrate that when they come home. Let's not give them benefits to let the illegals in. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Sorry, I got dark for a second. Does this work now? Hello? Okay. This ain't poison, right? Don't look at this point. <laughs> Don't think it's marijuana. Look at his face. Fan, they got rid of one of my favorite all-time players, right? 
at that time. Jose Reyes. Love Jose Reyes. Always smiling. Jose Reyes. <laughs> when he comes to bat, the whole state like, Jose! 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 And then he got in trouble for domestic violence. And every night there, he's like, hold on a minute. Because that's what you do. You immediately defend your gang. Because if that was, if you're like, hold on now. You don't know what his culture's like. You don't know if she was a No, Latino women, there's a lot of passion. But then I'm just saying, there's a lot of heat there, a lot of humidity. We don't know what he's going through. And you're already trying to defend your gang because you're labeled to it. Because if that was your child, your daughter, your wife, your sister, and someone said they just got smacked around, the last thing you would say is like, oh, is he a man? <laughs> and that's how your gang affiliation, you can call it politics, you can call it whatever you want, it's a gang affiliation, delusion, it gets delusional what you're really about. Come on. And you can't tell me when you look at your mind, <laughs> no matter how embedded your team is, when you first see them walking, you can't tell me you're not going, oh no. <laughs> 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 Don't you know, I can miss the podium. Can someone, can someone please get in? Walk them back to the podium. Thank you. This is really bad. Okay, speak to the crowd, Joe. <sighs> Uh, my, my, when my dad turned 85, uh, no offense to anyone their age, I would never give him a microphone <laughs> to speak at a kid's party, let alone address the world. <laughs> Did you see him in front of the veterans sitting on a seat that wasn't there? Yo, there's no scene over here. Come with me. <laughs> and I'm convinced he dropped a deuce in his pants. <laughs> Which their sign's going, at least he's got a felon. It's either like you're, you're either an Avengers movie or you just hit a funk that you have never come across. Uh, he did more to leave. He stopped. And, <laughs> and the camera kept cutting away because what you didn't see, you got to look up, what you didn't see is him going. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
They had a horse spraying down against the garage. Climate change, yeah. <laughs> More money in the war than we had fun to That's cruelty to humanity. It's really just common sense. I started traveling out of the country just so you can get different perspectives. Because you do, you don't realize how crazy they're coming at all of us until you go somewhere else. Oh, bro, I went to a, I went to a concert in Germany. That's another whole story. I never realized, that, first of all, I never realized how big Germans are. Good God. <laughs> I think that, I mean, everyone was like, oh my God, six foot three, six foot five, six foot seven. And th those are the females. They, they, I don't know. Uh, there's no climate change in Germany, because the minute fire breaks out, they stomp it out with those big German feet. Well, stay this, stay this, stay this. <laughs> Glad you like that, bro. I do. I go to Africa a lot. I know that sounds just from left field, but I do. I like seeing all different cultures. I brought. I grew up with some friends in Tanzania. I've been to Tanzania a lot. Yeah, yeah. You've been to Tanzania? Yeah. Go there. You don't have to get any. Just saying. That, that's what I like. You know, if you like it, knock yourself up. They're, if you're really into vaccines, people are like, you can't go to Africa without getting bought things out. Like, oh. They're going to kidnap you. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna take your hand and go to the It was funny because when we go there, uh, the first thing you see, which I love watching other people's reaction, is you know, first of all, in Tanzania, where we're at, there's no, there's no real paved roads. It's a dirt road. Right? We're in a van going to a lodge, but and people are like, there is. We're passing guys and everyone just has a scooter on the dirt. There's cows just gradually, there's no stop sign, just cows. And we come up on this guy who's got a scooter and he's not even sitting on the scooter. It's three stacks of hay on my left. The hay stacks are this big and they're up. On my left, it's got to be 10, 15 feet tall. And on the top of it is a guy just on the second haystack holding this hay on the dirt bike, trusting this guy on the bike. And all I can think about is like, how bad do they need that hay? And where did that guy get this hay? That this guy's like, why am I going to risk my life? <laughs> and we're going, is there any Wi Fi? <laughs> <laughs> wi Fi, here is just awful. Uh, but my favorite is you go on a safari, not so much for the animals and all that. I get all, my wife wanted to see lions, so we went to this one safari where they said there's many lions, and they bring you to a tent. Next tent. I don't want to sound like, oh, we just pitched it off. It's, it's nice, got beds and bathrooms, but it's a tent. And it says, listen, tonight, stay in the tent. <laughs> At night time, you do not unzip the zip of the tent, and you do not come outside. There will be lions in the camp. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at my wife, like, this is what we wanted, right? So, and she's, 
And she's like, do, do we have guards with guns? Like, no, 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 no guns. But we have a uh, Maasai tribe. He, he patrols at night. And I look in the distance, and there's a guy from a tribe. He weighs maybe, maybe 93 pounds. Tops. No dentist, his teeth look like, oh yeah, they're coming out this way. He's all thumbs, his, lip, his upper lip is up here. He got no meat on him, and the only thing he has to defend my life and his in the pitch black against lions is a little blankie he wears around his shoulder and a stick. And he's looking at him, you all right? Good, you're right, you're right. Okay, if he's got it, you know, you would be safe as long as you keep your tents open. Oh, and he leaves, and there you are. And it doesn't matter how much money you make, how big you think you are as a CEO, and how important you think you are. When you're in the middle of Serengeti in a tent, your whole life is just zipping up the thing. <laughs> And the guy says, if you feel scared, there's a bell next to the bed. <laughs> and I look, and it's, it's not a, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a, boom, boom. it's just a little. <laughs> <laughs> so in the middle of the night, we go to, we go to sleep, my wife and I. And let me tell you something. When you hear the sound, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, and they're getting it. <laughs> and they were all wildebeest. That's what put me. There were thousands of wildebeest throughout the night. <laughs> I fell asleep to <laughs> Even the world would be such. Like, Because 
your parents, your grandparents that are about to go in an elderly home or becoming a, a necessity that you take care of. They don't care if you're liberal or conservative or hate and you wait for the next up. Your kid has Down syndrome and is autistic. Those parents, we need each other. Maybe we need a dog collar this year and anytime we talk politics, it zaps you. I don't know. <laughs> But the point of the story is, don't underestimate the spirit inside you. Amen. I've lived it, I've seen it, and we can be that Messiah tribe in the line. They control us with fear, with fear. Be fearless, be fearless. You are fearless. We'll see you. We'll see you when our spirits rise. God bless you, be safe. Thank you.